What are you crazy animals doing? Just some of the local beach bums over here. We're having a race. You're going down. Are you sure you guys are ready? Here, here we go. All right, Jenny, come on, we gotta go race. Come on. So we're gonna start over here on this side. We're gonna race all the way to that red buoy over there and then back to the boat. Around the green one and back. Go ahead when you're ready, Sierra. They're beating us. They're winning, but we're catching up a little. They got us! Killed us! What kind of fuel you have in that thing? Your bottom must be really clean. Jenny, we gotta scrub the bottom. <laughs> Sierra, we got killed. <laughs> It's time, we gotta move. <laughs> we are sick of being in one place and we gotta go. Even though the weather's not great, we're gonna stay in the bay and take the bays and canals all the way to the east end of Long Island. And we're leaving tomorrow. Mr. Marlin is coming with us. <laughs> we're bringing Uncle Marlin because my dad and my sister are not gonna be, they're going on a long trip, so we're gonna bring him with us. Is that right, Marlin? So for the rest of today, we're going to just be getting ready on the boat. I'm going to do the uh, engine oil change, some filter changes. Sierra's going to do some laundry. We'll go food shopping later and get ready to cruise tomorrow. All right, so the first thing I'm doing right now is changing the engine oil in the big boat and then just the motor oil in the little generator we have. And while we're at it, we're going to change the engine oil filter. Let's check out the fuel filter real quick, see if that's getting dirty at all. But I'm sure that that's been pretty clean, so I'm sure it's fine. So the engine's just running right now, warming up, getting all the oil nice and warm. All right, the engine's all warmed up. So the first thing we're going to do, this is a little trick I actually learned from a fellow trawler owner's blog. And it's called uh, a trawler beach house, I believe. If you Google, Google something like that, you'll be able to find it. And well, we're gonna pierce the um, oil filter here, and that'll allow the oil to drain right into the oil pan. So there will be a lot less oil in the filter when we pull it apart. We'll just suck it out through the oil pan. It's a really nice little trick to keep this whole area around the filter um, neat and clean, and not too much oil. All right, so now what we do is we take our little, this guy here, little oil sucker thingy. They sell them at West Marine. I'll put the link to this thing in the description. It works really well. We'll take our dipstick out. Small one of these and a big one of these. I just got the small one to save space and keep it simple, and it was cheaper. I, just, I have to do it like four times to drain all the oil out of here. So we stick that end in the dipstick uh, tube, and then this goes right in here. And then we just pump. It sucks the oil right out of the oil pan. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be doing is the injection pump oil and a lot of engines I think have like their regular oil system runs through the injection pump, I think, don't quote me on that, but our engine for Lehman, the injection pump is lubricated by a separate oil reservoir, so we change that every 50 to 100 hours. Yep, here we go.
right, we pretty much got all our chores done. Absolutely unbelievable weather right now. Beautiful sunset, red sky at night. I think it's gonna be a good cruise tomorrow. Look at this. We're gonna go food shopping real quick, just get some food and supplies, and then we'll be done for the day. We're ready, I'm so excited. Hello, what's up you guys? Slow start today, but we are finally on our way. We just stopped at the fuel dock to fuel up a little bit. Marlin's coming with us. All right, we're all fueled up. We're ready to go. On our way. Still have the bimini off. It's supposed to get windy again, so we'll just keep it off until this wind calms down a little. What you doing down there, Marlin? You ready for a big trip? Can't even see his face. towards the east end of Long Island. Our goal is to get out to like Montauk and we're gonna do most of that on the inside, on the bay side. We're taking the Great South Bay out to Mariches and then the Mariches Bay and then through to Shinnecock. Now, we're doing that because it is windy and there's some big swell out in the ocean right now. I would say huge. But the risk is that going through certain areas in the bay here, it gets pretty skinny and it's pretty shallow in certain areas. So we just gotta be really careful. And I've talked to a few people who have done it this year, and they said it's no problem as long as you follow the right channel and everything like that. So we'll probably call Tobo US a couple times and just make sure we are on track uh, where we're supposed to be. So today we'll probably get to Mariches and then maybe a little bit further and find an anchorage somewhere. Then tomorrow we'll go into Shinnecock Bay and through Shinnecock Canal. Then uh, we'll be in the Peconic Bay. We got Jetty here. What are you looking at? Uncle Marlin's hanging out. My dad let us borrow a life life raft. Because he's worried about the weather too. <laughs> Going pretty good so far. We're doing about six knots at just over half throttle and that's towing the whaler. So that's a pretty good sign, right? the new inlet right over there, the breach that Hurricane Sandy opened back up. All right, we're all anchored up for the night. We're in Mariches Bay, a nice calm anchorage. We're right behind this land over here where the wind is coming from, so it's really calm. We decided to stop here because we called Towboat US and they kind of gave us a heads up that up towards the inlet up here, Mariches Inlet, they took away some of the day marks. So you have to go towards the inlet and around. And then once you come back to the main channel, it's a little shallow and we're at like dead low tide right now. So we want to transit that at close to high tide they recommended. So we kind of stopped just a little, a few miles before that. Just gonna stop for the night and uh, and we'll pick it up tomorrow morning. We did like, I don't know, not too much, like 15 miles today, something like that. We're gonna go take the dogs to the beach. You guys wanna go to the beach? You wanna go to the beach, Jetty? All right, come on, this way. Come on, Marlin, let's go. Going to the beach, go ahead. Look guys, we got an American flag on the back of our boat for that person or people who keep saying no, we've it's been there for a while 
<laughs> oh, I thought you said Marlon looked like Urkel. Oh, you look You're like making fun of me. I thought you said Marlon. <laughs> you what, is like... it my pants? <laughs> what? It's warmer that way. You almost fell in the water. Sierra's kind of obsessed with swans. I think it might be birds in general. She just discovered like a million over here. Our trip everything went smooth awesome stop here look at this sunset to top it all off we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>